Uh, what's up, we're Boys of Fall, and these are our pre-show rituals. Um, because we're on the road a lot and we're playing shows night after night, I, I really got into the habit of doing warm-ups, and it's very much improved everything that's been with my live performance. I used to not warm up at all, and I knew how bad that was because I never knew the proper way of doing it. But I do that. Uh, I try not to talk or drink any alcohol uh, within the hour or two hours of when we actually are going to play. Um, and I just I try to keep my voice to a minimum before we go on stage. So that's, that's always my ritual. <clears throat> um, my pre-show ritual, be, uh, because I play bass, and I wish I would have showed you this during our, our gear rundown, but I actually bought this little um, this little like uh, device that plugs straight into my bass um, that I can plug my my cell phone into and then like play music through it and then also my in-ears will plug into it um, so even if you don't have uh, in-ears you could use headphones but I was I was noticing that like while we were starting to do a lot more touring and stuff I didn't have like a legit chance to to really uh, warm up and for me because I play with my fingers um, obviously I mean on one hand but uh, as a bass player I play with my fingers I really need to warm up my hands um, otherwise I'll be slow and clunky uh, that's just me <clears throat> but um, but yeah, I so I, I bought that device and I, I try to I have a playlist of songs. I usually spend about a half hour to forty five minutes running through those songs, and then I'll clean my bass up because I like I said I get so sweaty, uh, you know, from night to night, and it just covers my bass in grossness. So I clean that up, make sure it's ready to go for the show, make sure I'm in tune and warmed up, and that's my pre show ritual. One ritual I forgot to say though, which is usually always his and I's once the venue open, is we always have to have a shot of Jameson. It's yes. the best whiskey out there. It's just got to happen every single time. Yes, Jameson. Stretches, baby. The bang over, if you don't stretch, the bang over after sucks. And just really, I mean, anything to just get it going, do some jumps, big on the, you know, the pool here, yep. go, up, go up against the wall, do yep. that, and get your calves. Yep. Um, and then I also, I, I do like hand stretches too, just get the, get those all ready for playing um, seems to help along with the warm-ups and that um, also another thing that I like to do I just like to do a quick little tech check um, make sure my batteries are fully juiced up you don't want those running out when you know you're in the middle of a song It'd be kind of embarrassing but that's what I do so my pre show ritual uh, I don't do a lot for my guitar but uh, I do a lot of high belting harmonies so uh, just like Mike I'm pretty much uh, gonna do my basic scale warm-ups but I like to sing like to like other bands like when I do my uh, song so like I, I do that warm up and then I go back and I'll like you know 30 minutes before a show drink a lot of water obviously you gotta stay lubricated you don't wanna you know hurt yourself uh, so I'll sing the other songs and then like not necessarily a pre-show ritual but I, I like it's pretty much route everything for our live set for a lot of the guitars and stuff and that kind of just like helps me just like focus and get in a nice state of mind before a show so yeah uh, for me, a lot of like what Dan was saying, a lot of stretching, a lot of like getting the blood flow, and I'll warm up on this guy. It's uh, my reflex pad. It's this amazing company out of Brooklyn, New York, made by two Vic Firth artists. Uh, they're kind of like changing the practice pad game, but it's a really good way for me to like warm up my hands without damaging the muscles. Um, yeah, I love this thing. 